Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video today. Today guys, we are going to learn about Heroku. So what is Heroku? Heroku is actually a cloud platform service guys. So if you guys have been uh, watching my videos, in the last video, we did something called as GitHub Pages. So yes guys, you can see that using GitHub Pages, we can actually create our own static websites. We can host our own blogs, our resumes, anything we want to post on a public domain, our own domain without actually having to pay for any uh, special web hosting service or having a fancy site, something called as a WordPress or Wix. No, with GitHub Pages, you can actually have a good theme uh, website on a public domain free of cost so you can show off the, your work but the problem with github pages is that it is a static website so if you want to create static web pages it's a very good option but you won't be able to do anything dynamic with it so now heroku actually provide us a cloud platform to deploy our own web applications dynamic web applications in several different programming languages free of cost without uh, you know without any any hassle of actually purchasing a server or doing a lot of configurations nothing like that you can uh, create your own website have your dynamic website set up in a very few clicks uh, so today we are going to learn about Hiroko guys. I hope this video is going to be really interesting for you guys. And before I start, I just want to request you that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Okay. So guys, as you can see on my screen here, I have got uh, Heroku open today. So you can see that uh, there are a lot of advertisements going on here. So just a little bit of more introduction. Heroku is a uh, platform as a service, a PaaS supporting platform. And uh, you can create applications on it in multiple uh, languages. Uh, the languages which are supported are Java, Node.js, Scala, Python, etc. Uh, also guys you can host your own database here so you can have your own SQL Postgres server you can have your Redis server you can have your uh, you know your team management tool you, have, you can have a lot of uh, things here and also you can deploy your applications and you can connect your applications with your github platform so that you can have automated deploys as well okay so now you can see guys that you are getting a lot of services and everything you are getting is for free. So that's why this is a really interesting tool to learn guys because it helps us to do our pet projects in a very efficient manner. Okay. So now a lot of theory has already said you guys uh, said to you guys. So let's get started with the with the coding part. Let's jump into the main thing now. So first of all, guys, to actually deploy a project, we need a project, right? So you can see that I, in my GitHub, I have created a repository here. It's called First Node App. This is a basic Express.js Node.js app here. So uh, I'm just going to print a few things on the screen. And you can see that in my views, I have got an index.html. And in this index.html, there are some there is some titles, some head, some body, and that's about it. But uh, this is not just an HTML page that I'm going to render. You can see that this is a proper Node.js app. So uh, you can actually have roots here uh, by which I mean you can actually have web services paths here and you can you can create your application as dynamic as you want. Okay. So you can see that we have got uh, here all specified. So you can have as many uh, root paths specified here and you can have your have them as web services. You can have them as rendering for other pages as well. Okay, so this is a proper Node.js app, uh, uh, a proper app which which can do a lot of things and not just render static pages. Okay, so now uh, that we have this application. Uh, what we have to do is integrate this github repository with our Heroku. Okay, how we are going to do that. One important thing to note whenever you are creating a Heroku application, you are integrating it with your github is that always make sure that in your github repository, you have got this package.json file or whatever main build file you have in the root folder. 
okay this is really important guys because for example in this case my main build file is package or uh, package json right because package json is the main uh, file for uh, establishing the build in node.js so if i don't have this package json file in my root folder in my uh, root folder of my repository what is going to happen is that when we are going to start integrating this project with Heroku, it is not going to actually understand that which language this uh, this uh, GitHub repo is is having. Okay, in which language do I have to build it? So that could be a problem for you. So always make sure that your main build file is always in the root folder. Okay, so now that we are clear with the GitHub part, we have our repository, we have our small project, we have the packages in the root. Now, let me go to the Heroku platform. So, you can see guys that now I am in the Heroku platform. Once you log in into Heroku, you have to actually create an account. For me, the account is already created. Uh, you will see a space like this. You can see that one app is already created for me. I only created it. So I can just leave it for now. Uh, I'm going to create another app here. So I'm just going to click new. And then you get two options. Create a new app or create a new pipeline. So we are not going to create a pipeline now. We are just going to create an app. Now it is going to ask you your app name. So you have to give an app name which is, uh, which is unique. So for me, I'm just going to give super lazy coder. Let's see if this exists. So you can see that this... Uh, this app name is actually available i'm going to choose the region as europe you can choose uh, any region you want i'm not going to add it to a pipeline now because we are just going to create a simple app as this is a simple example tutorial so you can see that i clicked on app and the app is created done right so we can actually uh, create pipelines guys to um, connect multiple apps together to actually enable our uh, GitHub to review apps and do a lot of things. Uh, but we are not going to jump into those advanced steps right now. We're just going to think about how we can just simply render our index.html page. Remember the index.html which we have in our views. How can we render this page using our Heroku, how you can deploy our application in Heroku, okay? So now let's come to the deployment methods. So you can see that we have got multiple methods now. We can have a Heroku CLI. So what happens is that if you have a Heroku CLI, uh, you first of, uh, first of all, you have to download the Heroku CLI. Once you download your Heroku CLI, you have to do Heroku login in which you provide the same username and password, which you uh, have your as your username and password. Then, basically, you have to create a, uh, you have to go to your Git repository. Uh, so, I have got this Git repository on my system. So, I just have to go to that Git repository and do something like this. Heroku, Git remote, A and your app name. Okay. Once you do this and you basically do Git push Heroku master, this is going to push your application into two remotes. One remote is your master branch and one remote is your Heroku. Okay, one remote is your origin master, which is your actual GitHub remote, which is this one. And one remote is going to be your Heroku remote. So basically doing something like Heroku git remote and your app name is going to set up a pseudo git repository for you in Heroku. And once you do git push Heroku master, your code will get pushed in Heroku, okay? And once you do that, you can then basically uh, start your deployment process. But I know guys that this seems a little bit too cumbersome and nobody wants to deal with so many uh, CLI stuff. So we are going to do a very simple thing. You can just go to GitHub and you can see that it says connect to GitHub. But for me, yeah, it is already connected to my GitHub. What is going to happen for you guys when you guys have not been connected to GitHub? Uh, you are going to get a uh, basically a prompt to log in into your GitHub or authorize GitHub to log in into Heroku. Once you authorize in that prompt, you will get the same uh, dialogue as I am getting. You will see your repository, your your username, your GitHub username, and you will get a search box to actually search your repository 
So now you can see that my repository name was first node app. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to search my repository name here. Now you can see that I got my repository name as a option. Now I'm just going to click connect. Now once I click connect, it is going to do the same steps which we saw in Heroku CLI. So on clicking the connect, basically what happened is that Heroku created a remote origin for our GitHub app in Heroku platform and it also pushed our entire Git repository code to that Heroku remote origin. So uh, the steps which we were doing in Heroku CLI are automatically done if you just simply connect our GitHub using the button. Okay. So now you can see that uh, once my GitHub is connected, I am getting something like this. So choose a branch to deploy. Obviously, guys, you can have multiple branches in your GitHub repository. I am only having one branch, so that's why I can only see one. Or if you have multiple branches, you can choose the one which you want to deploy. You can obviously enable the automatic deploys as well. Uh, but for now, we are not going to enable the automatic deploys. We are just going to click on the deploy branch. And once you click on deploy branch, you will see a certain amount of logs happening. Okay. Now you can see that in this logs, it is resolving the node version. It is uh, running the NPM install and all the vulnerabilities and build is succeeded and a whole lot of, a uh, whole lot of node stuff is happening. And how is that uh, happening? This is actually happening guys, because we have our packages and file in our root. So you can see again in first node app in this repository, I've got my package JSON in my root. So using this, Heroku automatically recognizes that this is a Node.js project. So when it recognizes it is a Node.js project, it enables its NPM modules and runs NPM install and all the necessary node commands. So uh, that is why we got that build log and now you can see the deployment is completed. I'm just going to click on view and once I click on uh, view, you can see guys that the amazing thing has happened. I have got a public domain superlazycoder.herokuapp.com and I'm able to render my index.html dynamically uh, through an express.js app on a public URL. Okay, now you can actually copy this URL. You can give it to anyone who can test your app, who can see your application and you can show off your work free of cost. Okay. Let's see one more thing, guys. Let's see one more thing. Let me disconnect my repository. So this, this is also something you can do. If you want to connect your application to a different repository, you can simply disconnect it. Now that I have disconnected it, I'm going to choose another repository. So I've got few other repositories. Uh, you can see that I created a long time back TensorFlow hand pose recognition. So I'm just going to click connect on this. Now in TensorFlow hand pose recognition, uh, I'm just going to click on deploy branch. You will see that in the logs, ultimately the push is going to fail. So you can see that the push has failed here. And why the push has failed is because application is not supported by Heroku Node.js build pack. Okay. And uh, if you even click on build logs, it will, it will say that it is not supported. Uh, the reason being is that we have selected certain build packs uh, in our, in our uh, Heroku application. Stating, if you go to settings, if you go to settings, you will see something called as build packs. Okay. So what are build packs? Build packs are the scripts which run when our application is deployed. Okay. So for example, in Node.js, NPM scripts are running. In Java, your Gradle scripts run. In Python, some other scripts run. Right. So what we can do is we can actually, depending upon the type of our application, we can click on add build pack and you can add any build pack you want. So I already have Node.js. I can have Python built back. I can have Java build pack. I can have Gradle, Scala, Clojure, any build pack. Okay. But in my application, actually none of this is going to work because in my repository, if you go to the repository, which I actually tried to deploy, which was hand pose recognition, 
is not having any such build thing. So hand pull. You can see that it is a basic HTML page. This is a basic HTML page. It is not a dynamic application. It is not something which is actually supported by any of the build packs of Heroku. So that is the issue guys that we don't have any server configuration, any build configuration. If you don't have any such thing or if your project is not part of any of these build packs, then you won't be able to integrate it with Heroku. So make sure guys that whenever you create a project, you must add in your Heroku application the build packs which your application will need and uh, then you will be good to go. Okay. So this is a very important thing guys. Other than that, you can play, uh, pretty much see that how easy it is to deploy your applications on Heroku, test them, deploy them, integrate them with Git. It's so easy and so efficient. Okay. So that was a video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope your, uh, your experience was great and now you can build your own applications free of cost, deploy it on a public domain and show off your work to the entire world. So if you like this video guys then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends as well. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications guys. Write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. All comments, all suggestions are always welcome. I make your videos every day from Monday to Friday so I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then take care and bye bye.